Good evening, everyone. Well, you get to do this to a house full of teachers. It's like payback, right? Good evening, everyone, right? Exactly. My name is Kristen Calloway. We are so excited to have you here for the 2020 Teacher of the Year Awards. Can we give yourself a clap? Because the fact it is 2020, we all know what that means. And you are here, we were able to celebrate you in person. We are going to kick off to live stream pretty soon. And that is something that will be recorded. You can see that on our YouTube channel. And we are excited because then your friends and family, colleagues will be able to watch as well and see you celebrate it tonight. I wanted to give you a quick update as regards to crossing the stage. How many of you were on the call when I carried the laptop around and showed you how it was? All right, I'm just gonna, let's just pretend everybody was. Yes, Kristen, everyone was on that. So, but just in case you have questions, this evening everyone has a program and you see that we are working in sections, elementary, middle, and high. I don't want you to be nervous. We have helpers everywhere. We're gonna make this as seamless and fun as possible. When JD, our MC, says it's time for elementary to go ahead and line up, you will go into the back of the house here and cut over this way. Do you see this, this protected lined hallway? You're gonna be behind that, walking all the way back to the stage, looking for Courtney, Courtney Jones. Are you around here? Go away for her. So, um, and the other folks who will help you. Oh, there we go, I see a flashlight. There we go, a spotlight. And we'll help you direct over here. And this is the cross through we talked about one by one. Your beautiful faces, names and information will be on this big screen. It's like a Jumbotron Oscar moment. And you are able to walk across, wave, your people take your picture, JD will say some things about you, make it as personal, knowing this is live streamed to our YouTube channel, the world's out there to celebrate you as well. You will continue through the back, we'll have someone in the wings guiding you, so don't worry. If you do want to take your mask off at that point crossing, when you come close to JD, it's time to put your mask back on. Not that he's contagious or anything, but, uh, and then you're gonna go back in the run. We're gonna take you all the way around, and that is where you have your professional photography done with Superintendent Mary Elizabeth. And we also have some fun things for you to grab. We will continue, walk you back out, get you to your seat, right back to your people, cheering on the rest of the night. We will do that for middle school, we'll do that for high, and at the end of the night, we're gonna announce our district teacher of the year winner from this area here of our six, down to three, down to one. But of course, everyone is a winner, yes? Let's all say it. Everyone is a winner. Yes. So we're excited to get you here. Let's get the show on the road. Deal? Everyone good? All right. Y'all enjoy your night. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. And that's good. I'm glad you guys uh, responded because I can't see you right now. These lights are extremely blinding right now, so I'm just going to trust that you're all out there. Welcome to tonight's 2020 Henry County Schools Teacher of the Year event. We are so glad you're joining us for the biggest and grandest event to recognize our 52 outstanding teachers from across this district. Let's give them a big round of applause. If by the end of tonight, your hands do not hurt, you did not clap and cheer enough for these outstanding educators. So please make sure you leave here tonight with bruises on your hands from clapping too much, all right? Help me out with that. Now, let's start off by uh, acknowledging a few things uh, before we get going tonight. First off, the, the obvious is that we are missing a few people. We would love to have this wonderful facility filled right now, this beautiful, brand new performing arts center. First off, this is the first big event that we're having in the performing arts center. So you are our first special guest here in the performing arts center. And we could not do it, of course, without uh, the wonderful voters of Henry County uh, approving our East Blas several years ago. So thank you to our voters. 
uh, and don't forget us in the future. Of course, we have this wonderful facility to thank uh, because of them. But we also want to uh, recognize that uh, because of COVID, we do have some limitations on our seating here tonight. And because of COVID, we would also like to remind people that when you're in close proximity, when social distancing is not possible, please remember to put on your mask. When you're around others or you're transitioning to different areas, please remember to keep on your mask. Help us out to keep everyone healthy and safe as we uh, celebrate this uh, this evening of our you know with our teachers. So, I believe that would that covered that part on my checklist. We'd also like to remind people that uh, tonight we are live streaming this event. So yes, wave to everybody at home who's jealous that they're not here and you are. So they are watching, they're tuning in. We actually even have a watch party outside in the parking lot. They're watching via big inflatable screen. So wave to them too. They're waving back. You can't see them. It's okay. Um, but uh, we're glad that everybody is tuning in from wherever they are and we can feel your energy from wherever you are making its way all the way here to Fairview tonight uh, for our big event. Now, another thing, please, if you have a cell phone on you right now, we would ask that you silence it or put it on vibrate. Very, very important. Especially if your person's up here being recognized and your phone goes off, you'll never live that one down, okay? So please make sure all of those uh, electronic devices are silenced so we can have a seamless ceremony tonight. Now, we also have some very special guests in addition to you all that are joining us here this evening and those are members of our board of education we have three of our five here this evening and i'd like to take a moment to recognize them uh, here tonight and they are seated, seated along the front row they are down here to my left of course i'd like to start over here with our vice chair we have miss holly cobb if you'll please stand away to the crowd we have our district five representative from right here in this district mrs annette edwards and then we have our District 4 representative right here, Ms. Sophie Pope. Let's give them all a big round of applause and thank you all for your leadership in helping make this possible for our teachers. Now, let me make sure I get my checklist right there. Uh, we also have another person who's sitting up here in the front uh, or the top row, the balcony, up in the, the top seats. We have last year's Teacher of the Year winner, Ms. Janae Cohen, where are you? There she is right there, big round of applause. Congratulations to Ms. Cohen, uh, but I know that uh, the year has been an eventful year, and of course, uh, all good things do come to an end, and tonight you will be passing that torch to someone else, one of our lucky semifinalists that we'll be recognizing here quite soon. For those of you who arrived early this evening, you were able to witness some of the musical talents of some of our you know, outstanding students here in our school district. And I'd like to take a moment to recognize uh, them along with their uh, educators and instructors. First, we had the Union Grove High School Chamber Orchestra and the members of that orchestra were Wanawola Abduin, uh, Nasir Mayhew, Sean McMeans, Carter Joyce, Tyler Powers and Brianna Reed, all under the direction of Michael Wright. Let's give them a big round of applause. And then we have it, had a wonderful soloist, Miss Alexandra Robinson, uh, vocalist accompanied by her teacher, Ishmael McKinstry from McDonough High School singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Great job to Alexandra and of course the Chamber Orchestra. We are so appreciative of all of you all and your many talents. So. You guys ready to recognize some teachers? Man, that was weak. Are you guys ready to recognize some teachers? Thank you, thank you. So, in it, you know, we, we, we had some judges that had the very tough uh, challenge of whittling it down to uh, six semifinalists, and we had those six semifinalists, but I just caught myself. So before I move forward, I do want to recognize a few other people before we get going. Um, one would be the Performing Arts Center staff. Now, they have been excited about this night as much as we have because this is their chance to show off their baby, the Performing Arts Center here at Fairview. And I'd like to recognize uh, Chip Forehand, who is the director of the Performing Arts Center, the uh, Performing Arts Center manager. We also have uh, Reed Lukat, Jessica Han uh, Hanthorn, and Jay Thorne, and the entire PAC staff. Let's give them a big round of applause for the way this looks. It's a phenomenal uh, facility. And I know that they're extremely excited about recognizing this. We also had um, uh, Courtney Jones, who's our, one of our assistant superintendents in our district. Uh, she uh, had the task of you know, organizing the whole selection process. She, along with her team, some other members who are here this evening are helping backstage and helping out front. Uh, Courtney, of course, serves in our leadership, um, our learning and performance uh, division. Let's give her and her team a big round of applause for all of their efforts and preparation tonight. 
And then you also got to meet Kristen Calloway, who is also responsible, a big part of this evening, and all the work that went into organizing this. Our sponsors, of course, a lot of the gifts that our teachers are going to be walking away with here tonight. Uh, let's give Ms. Calloway a big round of applause as well. Your hands are getting good and warmed up. Well, I like that. All right, good deal. So now, what I was saying earlier, we had the very tough task of narrowing down 52 teachers of the year down to six semifinalists who will be vying for the top honor this evening. And what we're going to have them do is we're going to have those six semifinalists come and sit with us on stage. And so I would like to call them out one by one and ask them to join me uh, when they come to the stage. Uh, and, of course, you guys can hoop and holler. This is their night, and this is your opportunity to celebrate with them. So please don't hold back. All right? First up. From Hampton High School, Ms. Yetta Smith. All right. Representing Rock Spring Elementary, Laura Lamb. From Dutchtown Middle School, Debbie Seacrest. From McDonough Middle School with her cheering section out in the parking lot right now in the viewing party, Miss Melanie Kellum. From Timber Ridge Elementary, Tabitha Wesley. And representing Luella High School, James Forsyth. Now, we'll get to find out a little bit more about these Teachers of the Year and what uh, you know, qualified them to be one of our semifinalists a little bit later. But at this moment, I would like to bring to the podium uh, the leader of our wonderful school system, uh, someone who has you know, committed a lot of time and effort to helping you know, guide this in tandem with our, our school board to make Henry County Schools a, a shining example for school systems all across the state and nation. Someone who has just received the President's Award from the Georgia School uh, Superintendents Association, your school superintendent, Mary Elizabeth Davis. Well, 2020 had to be the year that you were the teacher of the year. <laughs> yep, 2020. It's, it's the year that you have taught from your kitchen table, from your garage, from your backyard, from your classroom, back to your kitchen table, back to the classroom again, both at the same time. And of course, don't forget teaching from the parking lot. You had to be the teacher of the year in 2020. You know, this is the year that our kindergarten teachers have somehow tried to teach five-year-olds to use scissors safely through a device. And our chemistry teachers trying to model exothermic reactions right straight through a computer screen. I mean, 2020, it was your year to be teacher of the year. You know, 2020 is in Henry County actually the year of the teacher. Because, you know, in 2020, we get to walk side by side with young people through what will likely be the most influential experience of their entire life and likely inform the trajectory of their future. We get to be the individuals who serve as a connection point in a community, grappling through a season like none other. But of course, 2020 is not the year that we student taught for, or practiced for, or read books about for, or trained for. No, 2020 is definitely not the year for any of that. But I'll tell you one thing. 2020 is the year that you wanted to become a teacher anyway. As a matter of fact, anyone in the room, current teacher, former teacher, aspiring teacher, 2020 is the year that summarizes why you wanted to be a teacher. No, not because of all the complexity of the craziness and not because of all of the multiple lesson planning and not because of all of the um, implications in the actual practice of instruction, no. 2020 is the real reason you became a teacher because you knew that your encouragement to a young person could be the reason they believed in themselves for the first time. No, you actually became a teacher because you loved learning so much you believed it was contagious. 
and you believed because someone else might learn to love, to love learning, they would be a lifetime learner and change the world. Yeah, you became a teacher because you believed that in school and in your classroom, you could create a community where everyone could belong. And you didn't know the depths and the width and the breadth that the community you could create could be. But the reason that we all chose this noble profession is not only because we believed in a skill and an ability and an opportunity to deliver instruction. No, it is because we believe that when young people know they are loved, know they belong, and know that we believe in them, grand things happen in their lives and those around them. 2020 is the year and the reason you wanted to become a teacher because it really has been the ability of a teacher to model perseverance, to model never giving up, to model trying something publicly, totally failing, and yet trying it again. 2020 is the year we've modeled for young people how to balance personal, professional relationships while also keeping kids and learning at the center. You know, I really believe that this has been the year that the world has been exposed to the absolutely grandest impact that teachers have in the lives of families and communities. You've shown grace, you've accepted imperfections, and what is most amazing as you sit here tonight being celebrated as the best in your craft, you are representing not only 3,000 other teachers here in Henry County Schools, but the millions of teachers across this country who have served as the absolute shining light and beacon of hope for communities, families, and young people. And honestly, I believe 2020 is the year that summarizes why the world needs more teachers like you. You know, tonight we actually celebrate 721 years of collective experience in this room. 721 years. And you know, our rookiest teacher in the room has three years of experience. And Ravine Phelps and Robert Smith are tied for our rookiest teachers of the year in the room. So I just want to know where you are, if you could just stand up, because congratulations to our rookiest teachers of the year. And our most veteran teacher of the year has 35 years of experience. So Julia Pritchett, you are our veteranist teacher of the teacher of the years. Where are you so we can celebrate you? Okay, so I just, I had a moment when I thought 35 years ago, 1985, were we ever expecting that we would have the opportunity like we have right now? You know, Henry County Schools in 1985 was made up of 12 schools. There were 8,000 students in Henry County Schools. You know that today we get to serve 43,000 young people in 52 schools, all of which have Teachers of the Year that we celebrate tonight. But do you know that in 1985, the entire population of Henry County was 43,000? And today it is 239,000. I just can't even believe the role that our schools and our educators have played in the lives of our community since 1985 and obviously beyond. But I don't know about you, I remember my first class like it was yesterday. I was five years old and I made my dolls call me Mrs. Stagliano because that was my kindergarten teacher's name. And every year they learned a different name for me because I used the name of my teachers. And of course I did that because at age five, I wanted to be nothing more than exactly like my teacher. And that continued every day of my education. My heroes were my teachers. I wanted to be like them. And today I am in a room of teachers who remain my heroes. I want to be like you. I am inspired by you. And tonight I celebrate you. Thank you for the most extraordinary year of teaching. And I am honored to be with you tonight. Have an enjoyable evening.
I do have to pause a moment. The busiest person here tonight is Jareth Chapman, the, the podium wiper right there. Let's give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Jareth, we appreciate your contributions to tonight's event. Now, wasn't that great to hear from our superintendent? Let's give her another big round of applause. Now, at this moment, just like we practiced or like we talked about, we're going to ask all of our elementary school uh, teachers of the year to make their way backstage. If you can exit and head back to my right, your left, and we'll get you guys ready. And while they are transitioning to be recognized, we have a little montage uh, representing our teachers of the year. I believe some of our semifinalists that we're going to watch on the screen. So enjoy. As a little girl, my first grade teacher made me fall in love with going to school. I had this teacher, and her name was Mrs. Elder in third grade, Miss Lovelace. Miss Dent, my senior English teacher, Nancy Reed. Miss Donaldson, she did that for me. My mother is an educator. She still is a retired teacher who substitutes right now. She's over 70 years old, and she has been an educator her entire life. And it was then and there that I realized I'm going to be a teacher. I'm so proud to be her daughter, and I hope that I make her proud. She was the kindest and most compassionate person I had ever met, and to this day, 30 years later, I'm still, she's still the teacher that I think of when I, when I think about how I want to treat other kids and how I want to be remembered 30 years from now. Recognizing the Teacher of the Year is important for our profession as a whole. This is a very big deal, and it's just reassurance that I'm doing the right thing. It lets me know that I am setting an example for other teachers. The acknowledgement that something that we're doing for children is working is all that we need. And it, it really pushes us as teachers to keep moving. We lift each other up through the good and the bad, the highs and the lows, the personal. We lift each other up, and, and that resonates into the whole school. I want to be an example of someone that gives their all um, for their students. Henry County students deserve an exceptional learning experience. One that extends far beyond the four walls of our buildings. You have to be a friend to your students. You have to ensure that they trust you. To be nurturing and to build a personal connection with them. And that your students know that at the end of the day that you want what's best for them. Allow students to think critically. One day they're going to leave our school building and we want them to be successful. Give them the tools they need to, to struggle through that process. That makes all the difference in the world. So for example, I had a student last year and we were seeing something um, as a video clip and he said it was a science lab demo and he goes, can we do that? And I said, we absolutely can. Kids can have fun and enjoy being in school and learn and be their best versions of themselves. That was the last science lab we did before March 13th. We did it on March 12th. So my last memory of my students last year, and I don't mean to cheer up, but my last memory of my students last year was that lab. And we did it because my students said, can we do that, Miss Secrets? I changed the whole lesson plan just for him. And, and I would do it for any one of my students. And I've done it. My name is James Forsythe. I am Laura Lamb. Yetta Smith. Debbie Secrets. Melanie Kellum. Hi, I'm Tabitha Wesley, and I work with third grade students at Timber Ridge Elementary in the English Language Arts Department at Hampton High School. I am an exceptional student educator. I work at Luella High School. I work with the Social Studies Department at McDonough Middle School. I work with fourth grade students at Rock Spring Elementary. I'm the science chairperson at Dutchtown Middle School. And I am a teacher and I am a teacher. I am a teacher. I'm a teacher. I am a teacher. And I'm a teacher. Can you hear the passion in their voices when they were speaking about that? If that didn't kind of move you right there, uh, I don't know what will. Those uh, teachers and their words um, really, uh, you know, hit deep for a lot of us, especially those who have uh, committed to uh, working in the field of education. Uh, thank you for sharing your passion and your heart with everybody, and congratulations again tonight. So let's get going and recognizing these teachers. Again, I'm going to remind you, this is your chance to celebrate them. So please don't be quiet. We are small in numbers, but we are not small or quiet in voice. So please be loud. And everybody, cheer for everybody. 
It's what unites us, okay? All right, good deal. Let's get going. And let's start recognizing our elementary teachers of the year. First up, from Austin Road Elementary, Jeremy Sellers. Jeremy is an ESC English language arts and math teacher who strives every day to pour love, encouragement, and knowledge into the hearts and minds of his students. He wants his students to know and remember that great work is performed not by strength, but by perseverance, and they can achieve anything they set their, their, set, set their mind to. Jeremy Sellers, everybody, Austin Road Elementary. We do have a few teachers who are unable to be with us uh, here tonight, but we'd still like to recognize them for their schools. We have Miss Tiffany Early from Bethlehem Elementary School. Give her a big round of applause. Also unable to be with us this evening, Gloria Richardson from Cotton Indian Elementary. Let's give her a big round of applause. Next up from Dutchtown Elementary, she's here with us this evening, Trixie Slaughter. Trixie, you can pause right there while I tell everybody you're a first grade teacher who sees everyone beyond the six and seven year olds in her classroom. Instead, she sees the future doctors, nurses, and business owners and teachers, and she just wanted to keep on walking. She didn't want to hear it. Who will shape another generation? A big round of applause for Trixie Slaughter. I'm just gonna remind the teachers this is your moment to slow walk it, please. Slow walk it so I can get through this card. Next up from East Lake Elementary, Shannon Burge. Slow. While media specialist Shannon enjoys sharing her love of reading, there you go, and learning with students. You can dance if you want to. Uh, she also loves the relationships that are formed with them and their families. Big round of applause for Eastlake Elementary Teacher of the Year, Shannon Burge. All right, unable to be with us this evening is Ms. Kim Osborne from Fairview Elementary School, but a big round of applause for her. Next up, Brittany Bryan from Flippin' Elementary School. Now, Brittany, a kindergarten, first, fourth, and fifth grade ESC teacher, became an educator in order to make a difference. An example of that is when she taught one of her students who could not talk how to tell his mother, I love you. It was the first time his mother had ever heard him say that. That's what it's about. Brittany Bryan. Next up from Hampton Elementary, Christine Grace. Christine is an art teacher and had the opportunity to share and teach things she loves. She's inspired by her students' excitement and curiosity and enjoys watching her students take projects in directions she never imagined. And she's off the stage too. Let's give a round of applause for Christine Grace. I mean, they stand in front of kids all day long. You'd think they would be able to stand right here just for one second, right? So next up, Jacqueline Osborne from Hickory Flat Elementary. Jacqueline, a fifth grade teacher's favorite slogan is, we don't make excuses, we make it happen. And she's making it happen right now by standing here for me. She has been teaching for 31 years and wants her students to remember her as a teacher who was tough, but who loved all her kids and believed in their ability to learn. Everybody, Jacqueline Osborne, Hickory Flat Elementary. Next up from Locust Grove Elementary, Miss Amy Nation. Amy, a kindergarten teacher, knows the importance of building a strong foundation for her little learners. Therefore, every day she gives 110% of herself to her students. She finds greatness in each child she teaches and knows they can do great things. Thank you so very much, Amy. Congratulations. Next up from Luella Elementary School, Jessica Atkinson. Jessica is a teacher of gifted students. She enjoys challenging her students to, to think outside the box and reach their full potential. She encourages them to become creative problem solvers who can formulate their own unique ideas. Thank you, Miss Atkinson. And she's already gone. She's trying to give them all the, the credit right there. From Mount Carmel Elementary School, Diane Baus. Come on down. Diane teaches fifth grade English language arts and social studies, but most importantly, she's an advocate for her students. While they inspire her every day with their joy and laughter, she is their biggest cheerleader and wants the absolute best for them. Congratulations, Diane. Next up from New Hope Elementary School, Christina Bailey. A music teacher, Christina enjoys sharing her love of music while helping students have the aesthetic experiences that music brings to our lives. She is inspired by the joy and excitement she sees in her students when they sing and perform together. Thank you so very much, Christina, and congratulations. Next up from Oakland Elementary School, Raven Phelps. 
Raven is a fifth grade teacher and knows that teamwork makes the dream work. We love that saying. Whether she's cheering on her students at a basketball game or listening at their concert, she works hard to build relationships and to let her students know she loves them and believes in them. Congratulations, Raven Phelps. Next up, from Ola Elementary, Lane Holmes. Like many first grade teachers, Lane loves seeing the light bulb go on when her students master a concept. She works hard to discover what works for each child to make those light bulb moments happen. She also wants every student to know that being kind is just as important as being smart. Thank you so very much, Lane, and congratulations. Next up, from Pates Creek Elementary, Shannon Blair. As a second grade teacher where every day is a new adventure, Shannon loves the idea that something she can say or do in her classroom can make a big difference in the life of a child. This is why, in addition to teaching core content, <laughs> she's walking, there you go, that's all right, that's okay. She encourages her students to always choose to be kind. Thank you and congratulations, Shannon. Next up from Pleasant Grove Elementary, Ms. Pamela Woods. Pamela is a fourth grade teacher who was inspired as a young person to become by some exceptional educators. The memories of how those teachers changed her life motivate her to make a positive and lasting difference in the lives of her students. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Pamela Woods. And mask up HCS. You're doing a good job, all right? Next up from Red Oak Elementary, Sabrina Walker. Sabrina, for her, there is never a dull moment as a kindergarten teacher. I think that can be uh, said uh, for, for all elementary uh, students. This is why it is so important for her to communicate with her students in a way that encourages and motivates them to work hard and enjoy learning. She wants her students to know that she is their biggest fan and is always cheering for them to win in school and in life. Congratulations, Sabrina Walker. Next up, from Rocky Creek Elementary, Miss Emily Miller. Emily is a fourth and fifth grade ESE and a related teacher who enjoys helping her students create goals and plan to achieve them. Her personal goal for her students is that they will be involved, compassionate, and working members of our society. Congratulations, Emily Miller. Another teacher unable to be with us this evening, but we'd like to celebrate Miss Judy O'Neill from Smith Barnes Elementary School. We also have now, from Stockbridge Elementary School, Chantel Clark. Chantel is a second grade teacher who is inspired by the many different ways her students can learn. She loves to take what her students already know and incorporate new knowledge. She never gives up on her students as she equips them to be lifelong learners. Very important. Congratulations, Chantel. Next up from Tussa Hall Elementary, Summer Watson. Summer teaches first through fifth grade gifted students, which she says is the best job she could possibly imagine having. She considers her job challenging, but very rewarding, especially when she sees the smiles on her students' faces. Congratulations, Summer. <laughs> Joining us from Unity Grove Elementary School, Katherine Barnes. Catherine is a third grade teacher who loves building relationships with her students in order to build a positive classroom community. She works hard to empower her students to succeed at doing hard things and to change the world with their ideas. Congratulations, Catherine. From Walnut Creek Elementary, Mandy Moore. As an EIP teacher, Mandy loves helping students to learn to read and watching their eyes light up when they read a book by themselves for the very first time. She says that even on the toughest days, her students' hugs, smiles, and laughter make all the struggles worthwhile. Congratulations, Mandy Moore. Next up from Wesley Lakes Elementary School, Miss Danielle Pitts. Danielle teaches fourth grade English language arts, but says it's her students that inspire her every day. She uh, gets great joy from watching them transcend to critical thinkers who can question and evaluate the things they are learning. Congratulations, Danielle. <laughs> Next up, from Woodland Elementary School, Sarah Palmer. 
Sarah is a fourth grade teacher who believes that building positive relationships with her students means everything. She wants her students to leave her classroom knowing that with determination and practice, they can do anything in this world that they want to do. Congratulations, Sarah. All right, next up, it's time to recognize our semifinalists who are on stage. And I'm gonna ask each one of them to come and join us. There's a wonderful little spot right up here on the front of the stage that they can uh, walk to when I call their name. And so we're gonna start with our first one from Rock Spring Elementary School, your first elementary school semifinalist, Miss Laura Lamb. Now, Laura is a fourth grade teacher who strives each day to make an impact on her students that will inspire a lifelong passion of learning, but it's her students, she says, that inspire her every day. They're the reason she teaches and she wants to thank all her students, current and past, for sharing their knowledge, effort, patience, and a little piece of their hearts with her. Now, we have an opportunity to see a little bit of Laura in action and hear from her principal. So if you guys will turn your attention to the screen, we'll hear when uh, students are Laura. struggling with something and then when they finally get it and the joy and excitement that is on their face because they didn't give up and they did it, that's the best feeling in the world and it makes you feel like you're making a, a difference. So my name is Laura Lamb and I'm a fourth grade teacher at Rock Spring Elementary. You are a teacher every day, you're a parent, you're a friend, you're a caregiver. There are many different roles that teachers play in a day. You definitely have to be passionate about what you do in order to do this job successfully because it does take a lot of time, a lot of personal time, planning and grading and all of that stuff, but even you know the extra time devoting to those personal events that you go for your students is very important in building that relationship and connection. It makes a big difference. When they see that you are here for them on your own time, it's not a school day, it's after hours, and you've come to see them and celebrate them and their personal hobbies that they do, it, it makes the connection even stronger because we ask these kids to do so many things in the classroom. I'm asked, and these guys are nine years old and we're asking them to do a lot. And so it's very important that they know that I appreciate that and that I show that appreciation by going to these after school events with them so that they know that I care for them and that um, it's not always about classwork. The relationship building is a big part of what I do in the classroom and it's something that it's not just at the beginning of the year, it's something that continues throughout the whole year. I do challenge my students. In the beginning of the year, you know, it's hard for them, but we do talk about perseverance and even though things may seem hard in life or you may come across a challenge and you feel like in the moment that you can't do this, the most important thing is is that you keep trying and you never give up. Even if you reach one student and one student comes back and they say, the slam, thank you for pushing me, thank you for challenging me um, so that I could reach these goals, um, that just makes, that makes it all worth it. It is worth it. It's hard. It's hard. And right now we're going through something we've never done before. Um, but it's still worth it, and I think that even though it's really hard and challenging right now, I think that we will overcome this and we'll find new ways and new tricks to make it run more smoothly, but yes, it's still, it's still worth it, definitely. My name is Laura Lamb, and I am so honored and humbled to be one of the semifinalists for Henry County Teacher of the Year. I wanted to take a moment just to let you know what an amazing teacher Miss Laura Lamb is. Miss Laura Lamb goes above and beyond for her students every day. Students look forward to coming to school because they know that Miss Lamb is going to give them an enthralling learning experience. 
Miss Lamb is loved by all. She goes above and beyond to support our school and all of our initiatives. I wanted to let you know today that you couldn't have a better choice than Miss Laura Lamb for Henry County Schools Teacher of the Year. Let's give Laura Lamb one more big round of applause. All right, and next up, our second semifinalist from the elementary school level, Ms. Tabitha Wesley from Timber Ridge Elementary School. Real quick, as a third grade teacher, Tabitha, love, uh, Tabitha loves empowering little minds, showing her students her potential <laughs> and unlocking uh, their love for learning. She loves being a teacher even during these challenging times. One of her favorite quotes by Art Williams is this, I'm not telling you it's gonna be easy, I'm telling you it's gonna be worth it. Ms. Tabitha Wesley, let's hear from her. If I'm not having fun, they're not having fun. Yeah. Yes. I believe that that's what learning should be. It should be fun. My name is Tabitha Wesley, and I am a third grade teacher at Timber Ridge Elementary. Being a teacher is so much more than writing lesson plans and grading papers. It's about connecting with kids and with families in a way that keeps them coming back for more, helping kids see themselves fully and, and embracing who they are and finding their passion early. My mom really motivated me to just do what's right for people and for kids and um, who knows what they're going through on a day-to-day -day basis. If they can come into my classroom and have me interact with them and put a smile on their face, then I did what I was meant to do. I just think that getting kids up and excited to come to school every day is our number one goal. I believe that children deserve a teacher that is excited to see them each and every day. They deserve to have a teacher that is passionate about bringing a fun environment to them. I'm bending over backwards to make sure that kids are having fun while pushing themselves to be the best versions of themselves. Kids deserve it and that's what I think we should be doing. We should be bringing our A game for them every day. I think that if kids don't want to learn, she is so reflective. She is so collaborative. She is a go-getter. She will do anything for anybody. Ms. Tabitha Wesley, we are so proud of you for representing our school as the Teacher of the Year, and you deserve to be the district's 2020-21 Teacher of the Year. One more big round of applause for Ms. Tabitha Wesley. And now we get to announce who will be this year's elementary school finalists who will then go on to compete for the top honor. So I am going to ask both semifinalists to just stand where they are, where they are seated. Just please stand for me. I know someone said you guys could sit. I, we need you to stand, all right, so everybody can see you, all right? So we do have an official envelope right here. We got really fancy this year. Um, and so we are going to open this at this moment and announce our winner, all right? There's no drum roll. I mean, we could have, we could have asked those kids to hang around. You know, there you go. We, we hear a few. There you go. That's fine. That's perfect. We'd like to congratulate this year's elementary school finalist for Teacher of the Year, Ms. Tabitha Wesley from Timber Ridge Elementary School. We do have the exchanging of some wonderful flowers and her trophy. And let's give her, but also Miss Laura Lamb, a big round of applause. Congratulations to both of them. And we have a special clip that we'd like to play. One of her students uh, shared a few uh, special words. So let's take a listen. I was lucky to have Miss Wesley her first year at Timber Ridge Elementary, and I learned so much that year. She taught me to be flexible by allowing us to pick our seats each day. Miss Wesley always had activities for us that made the subject we were studying fun. Each day was a new adventure. She showed me it is okay to ask for help. She would always help anyone who had a problem with their work or needed more practice. Miss Wesley showed me that I can always do more. It was a lot of fun. For Christmas, her friends and family sent each student a book that included a personalized note that that showed me how we can all do nice things for other people even if we don't know them. 
My name is Brody Browning, and I'd like to thank you, Miss Wesley, for making such a difference and teaching me so much that year. Thank you, Brody, for that wonderful uh, you know, expression. And of course, we love to hear from our students. Again, congratulations to Tabitha. We'll be seeing you a little bit later, but you can return to your seat now, all right? All right, good deal. So at this moment, we'd like to uh, call some special attention to some very important people who may help make tonight possible, and those are our sponsors. We have a lot of sponsors that you know, provided gifts, provided uh, financial support to make this possible for these wonderful and well-deserving teachers, and we'd like to uh, hear from one right now, uh, and, but we have a fill-in because somebody could not be with us, so I'm going to ask Ms. Calloway to join us back on stage so she can share a few words from one of our sponsors. A big round of applause for the Performing Arts Center employees and staff who've helped make this night, please. And to J.D. Harden for emceeing in his dapper tuxedo, yes? He's going to kill me. Are you all doing well? All right. So one of our uh, sponsors or partners in kind is Georgia United Credit Union. Who here has them as your bank or credit union? All right, we'll work on bumping that up for next year's uh, amount on there. So what we would like to do, though, because our friend Steve Overcash could not be here tonight, and we do miss him, is a few words on their behalf and thanking our longtime community and education partners, Georgia United Credit Union, with their generous donation to help the sponsor tonight's Teacher of the Year celebration. At the end of tonight's festivities, and actually a few of you have already started receiving your swag bags, and inside you will find there's a black box and it is actually this fabulous portfolio that Georgia United Credit Union has sponsored for each of our 52 teachers of the year. So we hope that you can take this into the classroom and remember that far and wide you are loved, community and on. We look forward to our ongoing partnership with Georgia United and all they do each and every day for Henry County Schools. Thank you. I'm telling you, Jareth, hardest working man in showbiz right now. So, hey, I want to I also, I know uh, Ms. Calloway did reference the, uh, the tuxedo. I don't normally wear these, but I do appreciate the wonderful folks at Black Tie uh, Tuxedos in downtown McDonough for sponsoring this. Um, we greatly appreciate them. And so if you need a tuxedo, that's where you need to go. Um, we would also like to remind our middle school uh, award uh, winners this evening, our teachers of the year, if they can now make their way, just like our elementary school uh, colleagues did, back to that back corner. It's about your time to walk across the stage and hopefully you saw how the elementary school did it and some of them did it right and some of them just wanted to get off stage but we hope you guys will take a moment here in just one second but in addition to Georgia United and all the many other sponsors we did have a presenting sponsor this year um, that was our largest sponsor of this year's event and this year it was Eagles Landing Health and we have a couple of uh, a little promo videos we'd like to show you at this moment while our middle school teachers make their way backstage so let's let's take a listen from Eagles Landing Health Eagles Landing Health offers pediatric, family practice, endocrinology, imaging, and sleep services, which makes great care convenient for everyone. So whether you're the king of tea time, a hashtag social media influencer, or a five-year-old dinosaur, Eagles Landing Health is here for you. As women, we all have our differences, but when it comes to our health, we are more connected than we realize. Each year, one in eight women are diagnosed with breast cancer, causing a major disruption in their lives. But if we stand together to support the one, the connection doesn't have to end there. That's why at Eagles Landing Health, we provide 3D mammograms to help detect even the smallest traces of cancer. No matter what the results may be, we're here to support all women, including the one. Call or schedule your mammogram online today.
All right, a big round of applause for our sponsors, including our presenting sponsor, Eagles Landing Health. We appreciate you guys as always. Uh, they make uh, educating the youth in Henry County so much easier, and we're, we're so appreciative of them. Now, it's time to move on to our middle school teachers of the year. So, if they're ready back there, we're ready. And so let's start with our first one from Austin Road Middle School. Joining us here as their teacher of the year, Miss Cynthia Byron. Miss Byron is a sixth grade language arts and social studies teacher who loves teaching because every single day she gets a chance to make a difference in someone's life, which goes far beyond the knowledge she imparts as a teacher. She challenges her students to be a better version of themselves each and every day. Congratulations, Cynthia Byron. We appreciate you. Next up from Eagles Landing Middle School, Demetrius Hurd. As a sixth grade math and social studies teacher, it is Demetrius' desire to share her passion for learning with her students. Her daily inspiration for teaching comes from realizing that each day she has a chance to help someone see the beauty and learning something new. Congratulations, Demetrius. <laughs> Unable to be with us this evening, but representing Hampton Middle School, Lori Houston. A big round of applause for Lori. From Locust Grove Middle School, Miss Kathy Hesting. <laughs> Kathy is a seventh and eighth grade social studies teacher who really loves her job. She says she enjoys middle school students and their special kind of humor. And we know that middle school humor is a special kind of humor. Uh, in addition, her students keep her young at heart and teach her how to be a better person. Congratulations, Kathy. <laughs> Next up from Luella Middle School, Mr. Robert Smith. Robert is a seventh grade social studies teacher who knows that sometimes students need someone in their corner who, if nothing else, will listen to them. With this in mind, he encourages his students to embrace their ultimate potential and accomplish their dreams. Congratulations, Robert. <laughs> Next up from Ola Middle School, Lena Set Velez. <laughs> Lena, as she is known, is an eighth grade math teacher who loves helping kids and watching them learn and grow. While she wants her students to know that math is not that bad, it's not that bad, she also wants them to believe that with hard work, they can do anything and be anything. Congratulations, Lena. From Stockbridge Middle School, Miss Tiffany Jester. At, as a middle school math teacher teaching during a pandemic, Tiffany has been inspired watching her students successfully juggle tasks that many adults struggle with. She applauds them daily for not giving up and she wants them to know and remember that she loves them and believes in them. Congratulations, Tiffany. Yeah, you can dance if you want to. Good deal. Next up from Union Grove Middle School, Jennifer Jones. Jennifer is a seventh grade science teacher with a passion for building relationships with the students who inspire her every day. She believes as a teacher, it is her job to make sure her students are ready to step out into the world and make it a better place. Congratulations, Jennifer. Next up, Latreka Gaynor from Woodland Middle School. Ms. Gaynor is a sixth grade language arts teacher who believes being a teacher is more than standing in her classroom and teaching standards. She is often a mom, counselor, nurse, and mentor to her students who show up every day ready to learn despite the challenges they may face at home. In return, she shows up every day with a smile on her face and joy in her heart. Congratulations, Latrika. And then there were two and they are our semifinalists. So we would like to bring to the stage, first up, from Dutchtown Middle School, our first middle school semifinalist, Miss Debbie Seacrest. <laughs> Debbie teaches eighth grade and honors physical science. She enjoys making a positive difference in the lives of her students and helping them fall in love with science. Debbie, whose mother was a teacher and greatest inspiration, believes teaching and making a positive difference in the lives of her students is her purpose in life. Let's hear a little bit more about Debbie Seacrest. Hi, 
I love my school. I love the children, their parents, uh, my colleagues, my admin team. I just look forward to coming to school every single day. My name is Debbie Seacrest and I'm an 8th grade science teacher. Today we're going to do a demonstration. I teach science and I, I love it when they they begin to love science. That happens. A kid walks in and out like science and then they walk out at the end of the year and they do like science. It's, it's not part of a job, it's part of who you are. Sixth period, we were learning about inertia and one student had her stuffed animal on top of her head and I said, look at there. And I said, what's that stuffed animal's name? And so next thing you know, I had like four other students with a stuffed animal on top of their head too. And I'm like, look at that inertia. Look, it's just sitting there. You are showing Newton's first law. So I took out Science Cat and I put Science Cat on top of my head. And I said, um, see, I got Science Cat. And so the challenge was, can Miss Secrets teach the whole time without Science Cat falling off of her head? You know, building relationships, even uh, in virtual, it's, it's possible. But I didn't realize until we didn't have the kids in the classroom that that right there is what gets me up out of bed every morning. Being able to see the children and saying to myself, am I going to make a difference in some child's life today? You know, it, how can I make a difference? When I wake up in the morning, I just... I sit down in my big old chair and I have a cup of coffee and when it's time to get in the car I put on my jams and I am on my way to work and every single day when I roll up at Dutchtown Middle School and I look at that sign I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I love my school. It's, it's not a job. It's, it's my purpose. My purpose is to help students get an education, you know, education is power. We want them to have the very best education. But in getting that education, it's the building of relationships. I've asked a student who didn't think they could do something, I said, well, can you do that for me? Can you do it just for me? And you know what they did? If a relationship wasn't built between that student and myself, that person wouldn't have done that. All children have the capacity to learn and sometimes they don't even realize it but then they they grow and then the look on their face you're like i told you you could do that and and they're very proud of themselves they can take ownership of their education and they can take ownership of of themselves um, knowing that someone's in their corner that i care and they know i do my students know i care so that's it. And I'm, I'm cheering for them. And I'm rooting them on to their lives. My name is Debbie Seacrest, and I'm honored to be a semifinalist for Henry County Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Ms. Seacrest. Well deserved to see the impact that you make from day to day with our scholars, with your colleagues, parents, and the community at large, you are truly deserving of this recognition. Henry County, I think we got this one right. She does over and beyond anything that we could ever imagine. And this is why I think Ms. Debbie Seacris is a winner, a keeper, and should be strongly considered for Henry County Schools Teacher of the Year. One more big round of applause. You ought to keep it going for Miss Seacrest. I don't know what it is about teachers wanting to run off the stage so quick, but, uh, but anyway, let's move on to our next semifinalist from McDonough Middle School, Miss Melanie Killam. As an eighth grade social studies teacher, Melanie has a passion for teaching young minds and gets great joy from being part of the most crucial vessel by which children develop character skills, knowledge, and goals. In addition, she is committed to helping her students who come from all walks of life and who face different challenges develop a strong connection to service and community. Let's hear a little bit more from Melanie and her principal. Don't settle, boys and girls. Take those risks. 
reach for things that you may not even be able to see right now. You are a risk taker. You are a diligent student. You are creative. And you have a purpose. So go live it. I'm Melanie Kellum, eighth grade social studies teacher at McDonough Middle School. There was a group that couldn't stay where they were. To me, it's one of the most important um, subjects that kids learn in school because it gives them the tools they need to function in the society that we have. If we do not give that to them, then how can they be contributing members of our society? How do you participate in government? How do you have a say in a democracy? And so kids have to know that in order to be able to exercise those rights. And that's what I feel my job is, educating the whole child. Fight for rights for all and Jimmy loves black lives. Teaching, learning, and education, and me as a person, Melanie Kellum, we're synonymous. I feel like I'm not living if I'm not teaching. And we want to share this with And I think about that, and it, and it does weigh on me heavy, that am I giving too much to other people's children? Is there some of these things that need to be just for my kids? And I say, well, no, that's not my purpose. Ever since my first year teaching, I knew that this was what I was supposed to do on this earth. When you give to people who are, who need it, it's, it just fulfills you in a way that nothing else can. It's, I, I'm chasing that feeling. So yeah, I care a lot. And yeah, I might go and the extra mile, but had I not done that, would, these, would my students have reached the goals that they've reached in the past? When I got into this, it's like we fell in love. I fell in love with, with teaching kids new things, with seeing them grow and learn. And it's like something I don't want to let go. I, I thrive off of the connections that I make with students. I thrive when my students reach so, what is he saying right here? so many different successes that they never thought they could reach and that people did, doubted that they could reach. But with proper support and guidance, our kids in Henry County Schools can reach anything. They can achieve anything, and we can help them do that. Every young person deserves to have an adult in their life that loves them, cares for them, wants the best for them, and nothing else in return. I'm Melanie Kellum, eighth grade teacher at McDonough Middle School, and I am thrilled to be a semifinalist for Henry County Schools Teacher of the Year. Welcome to the home of the Warhawks, where Melanie Kellum is our Teacher of the Year. She is phenomenal and in every way exemplifies what we believe to be a mighty Warhawk. She shows respect for learning, integrity, a servant's strength and engagement. She connects with her learners like no one else I've ever seen. She is exceptional and that is why she deserves to be the Teacher of the Year for Henry County Schools. Keep it going for Miss Melanie Kellum. As you can see, we have two wonderful semifinalists, but only one will be able to move on as a finalist, uh, one step closer to uh, potentially becoming the Teacher of the Year for Henry County Schools. And I have in this envelope right here, this wonderful envelope, uh, the uh, winner, or the finalist, I should say, for the Middle School Teacher of the Year. So if I could have both. Have a special, uh, a few words from one of your students. Ms. Cullum is one of the most inspirational teachers I have ever come across. She is always encouraging students to do their absolute best despite how hard or challenging an assignment can be. Ms. Cullum once told us about a student who was very challenging in the classroom. Ms. Cullum refused to give up on that student because she was able to see with the brilliance within her that not many others could see. 
Because of her interaction with this student, she was able to graduate with exceptional academic excellence that allowed her to obtain scholarships to Tuskegee, Yale, and the acceptance into the Naval Academy. This impacted me because it shows that Ms. Cullum is truly determined to have her students succeed. Ms. Cullum has changed the way I view my peers and my school. Within the two years I've had Ms. Cullum as my teacher, I have truly changed my views on learning as a whole. And that is because of Ms. Cullum's efforts at creating an impactful learning environment. Ms. Cullum is truly inspiring, and not only has she had an amazing impact on my life as well as others, but to many more students to come. My name is Damaria Whitley, and Ms. Cullum has made an inspirational impact on my life. Congratulations. One more big round of applause for Melanie Cullum, your middle school finalist for Teacher of the Year. You can return to your seat. And now we'd like to hear another word from our sponsor, our presenting sponsor, Eagles Landing Health. And then we'll welcome Ms. Galloway back out to uh, introduce the Eagles Landing Health Chief Operating Officer, Jeff Mitchum. At Eagles Landing Health, we have always made it our goal to provide excellent care for our community. And even though things in our world have changed, that goal has not. We provide health care for the neighbor, for the mother, for the birthday girl, and for the American Idol. We always have and always will be here for your health needs. Because at Eagles Landing Health, we provide health care for the community. You think I'd know by now, right? All right, in lieu of sponsors, we have had some fabulous folks who immediately said, yes, I want to help. And one that I want to point out right away, we are here this evening because of Eagles Landing Health. Can we give them a big round of applause as our presenting sponsor for 2020 Teacher of the Year? And if I could get the house lights on, I would like to point out over here the COO of Eagles Landing Health, Mr. Jeff Mitchum, is joining us this evening. And I have to say with Taylor, his daughter, who is an Ola High School graduate. So look at that. We have continuum. Thank you. But that really sums it up to have a community partner and someone who immediately, in this pandemic, in this time, I was afraid to call that folks would say, no, I can't do it. But right away, off the bat, yes, we want to help. So we are so appreciative for what your gift has done this evening to let our teachers know through thick and thin, through virtual, through in person, through uh, you're on mute. How many times have you said that this year? That is the quote for 2020, that we appreciate you and we're so glad you're here. Your swag bags, your presents, your items, um, some goodies that we're gonna have later are all thanks to Eagles Landing Health. So thank you, Jeff, for your group. Please let them know. Um, use them, they're throughout the community and we appreciate you. So thank you again to our sponsors and, of course, uh, Eagles Landing Health for being a presenting sponsor this year. Uh, now it is time for all of our high school teacher, uh, teachers of the year to make their way backstage. So if you could at this time make your way back to my right, your left, and uh, we'll recognize you here in just one moment. While they're making their way back there, we do have the opportunity to present some door prizes uh, to our teachers that are here this evening. And so what I've done is the very scientific method of numbering your names right here on this wonderful program and uh, I have this wonderful scientific number generator right here and so we're going to pick 10 numbers from this list and once I call your name uh, you will be able to uh, you'll be able to get and somebody's trying to call me right now that's not a good time to call uh, but uh, but we'll, we will um, make sure that uh, you get your goodie bag on your way out is a wonderful blue uh, goodie ba bag filled with a lot of different gifts from the Chamber of Commerce and surrounding sponsors so you don't really need a drum roll right here, but here are the numbers and here are the winners. Number 19 would be Emily Miller from Rocky Creek. Number six, Kim Osborne, who's unable to be with us, so I will have to pick a different number here in just one second. Number um, three, we have Gloria Richardson. Again, unable to be here. We had three people unable to be here. Number 44, let's go down and see who that would be. Amanda Hatfield from Impact Academy. 
Number 48, Heidi Shook from Stockbridge High School. 36, Jennifer Jones from Union Grove Middle. Number eight, Christine Grace from Hampton Elementary. 26, Sarah Palmer, uh, Woodland Elementary. And number seven, we have Brittany Bryan from Flippin Elementary. Number 46, Michelle Watson from McDonough High School. Then we also have number 49, Victoria Harrison from Union Grove High School. And then last but not least, we have number 30, Demetrius Hurd from Eagles Landing Middle. So if I called your name, make sure you grab a blue goodie bag on your way out the door this evening. And congratulations. You didn't know you were going to get that on your, uh, when you got here tonight. So let's give them a round of applause. Now it's time for our high school teachers of the year. And let me grab my notes just one second. I walked out and found We had to build this suspense for just one second. All right, so let's welcome now our high school teachers of the year. First up, Charlena Rains from, Acad from the Academy for Advanced Studies. Charlena, who teaches AP Honors in General Chemistry, wanted to be a teacher since she was in middle school. She loves seeing her students develop critical thinking skills and make connections between chemistry and their everyday lives. Congratulations, Charlena. From Dutchtown High School, he actually performed last year as one of our musical performances, Mr. Clayton Jolly. Clayton's a theater teacher who describes his students as bright, shining stars who are creative giants beyond his wildest expectations. He said, go for it. He says cheering on his students to shine bright every day inspires him to know more, to do better, and to be the best teacher he can be. No stranger to the stage, Mr. Clayton Jolly. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up from Eagles Landing High School, Chief Karen Kelly. As the Navy JROTC instructor at Eagles Landing High School, Chief Kelly is making an impact in the lives of students who will help mold the future of America. She encourages her students to stay committed to their goals and to do things that make a difference. Chief Kelly wants to say a special thank you to her mother who supported her during her, uh, every step of her 22 years of a military career and is who, who is here with her this evening. And to you, Chief Kelly, we say thank you for your service to our country. Way big back there. Next up from XL Academy, Mr. Jack Teague. Jack teaches high school social studies in all subjects for fourth graders as a part of our new evening academy. He says on a good day, he enjoys his job more than you'll ever know, and even on a bad day, he can't imagine doing anything else. Congratulations, Jack. From Impact Academy, Miss Amanda Hatfield. Amanda is a high school science teacher who encourages her students to ask questions and wonder why. She strives to equip her students with the tools they need to understand and form conclusions about what's happening around them. She's a firm believer that students don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Congratulations, Amanda Hatfield. Next up from Locust Grove High School, Ms. Julia Pritchett. Julia teaches 11th and 12th grade Algebra 2 and Pre-Calculus, and her mantra is, you can do it. Uh, this explains why she loves the aha moments when her students finally put the puzzle pieces together and get it. This is Julia's 36th year of teaching, and she has no plans of retiring anytime soon. Thank you, and congratulations, Ms. Pritchett. Next up from McDonough High School, Michelle Watson. Michelle, who teaches ninth grade algebra, enjoys the daily reward of sharing knowledge and learning with her students. She is thankful and learning, or she is thankful every day for the opportunity to inspire, support, mentor, motivate, and create lifelong learners. She wants all of her students to develop a love for math and to always remember, you got this. All right? Congratulations, Michelle Watson. Next up from Ola High School, Rosemary Ahonan. 
Rosemary teaches AP psychology and is continuously inspired by how much her students truly want to learn. She makes an effort every day to let them know that they have value and potential and that everything they do in her class has a real world application. Congratulations, Rosemary. All the way from Stockbridge High School. Next up, Miss Heidi Shook. Heidi is an interrelated social studies teacher who loves helping students build their self-confidence and discover their worth in this world. She is thankful every day to have a job she loves and to work with people who are like family. Congratulations, Heidi Shook. Next up, from Union Grove High School, Victoria Harrison. As an MID teacher, Victoria wants her students to know that they are worthy, loved, and deserve to succeed no matter what that looks like for them. She loves being an educator and is inspired each day by the hard work and dedication her students put into doing their best work. Congratulations, Victoria. From Woodland High School, Christian Kendrick. And I don't believe Ms. Kendrick is with us this evening, so I apologize, but congratulations. Let's give her a big round of applause. And like we said earlier, then there were two. And now it's time to meet your semifinalists from the high school level. First up, from Hampton High School, Yetta Smith. As she makes her way to the front of the stage, Yetta teaches 11th grade literature and composition. Students leave her class knowing that learning is more than reading and writing. It's also about the life skills she teaches through reading and writing that will help her students navigate the real world. She loves being a part of her students' educational journey and hearing their success stories and they move on, as they move on to college and the workplace. Congratulations to Yetta Smith. Let's hear a little bit more about her from her own words and her principal. I am authentic. I am true to myself. And I think we owe it to these students to give them a real world, authentic education so that when they leave our building, they can thrive, not just survive. My name is Yetta Smith. I teach literature and composition um, for 11th grade students at Hampton High School. Literature is important um, because it holds the secrets of the past. I teach American literature in particular and it's absolutely my favorite literature subject to teach. We live in America and so much of what is happening in society today can be tied back to specific things that took place in American history. And so by reading the literature, number one, we get a glimpse into the past and we know that in the real world, regardless of what career you go into, there's going to be reading. And so I try to drive that home with our students, right? It's a necessary skill to be able to read and comprehend in the next phase of your life. So this is our thought process. This is how we think through. Given the appropriate resources, given the appropriate supports, and given the appropriate love and attention, I do believe that students are capable of learning far beyond what they even imagine they can learn. My mantra is to be great today. And so that is the one thing that I hope students walk out of my classroom knowing that every day that you wake up, you have an opportunity to be great and you have to do it today. We need them to, to get up encouraged every single morning. I often tell them, you know, you got out of the bed, you got in your car, you got on the bus, you rode 10 or 15 minutes, you got up. So be great once you get up, be great while you're here and you have the opportunity to do so. That's the main point of the text. What is the I give students the opportunity to see Miss Smith make mistakes. I give them the opportunity to see me being silly. Um, they see me at their sporting events. They see me in the grocery store and I am the same person every single time they see me. And so even in my classroom when I'm educating them, because I am who I am and I'm, I'm so loving and carefree and I'm just truly who I am, they feel like they can truly be who they're supposed to be too. And I think that just transfers into my everyday teaching and into all of my interactions with my students and even my, my peers, my colleagues. Mrs. Smith is Mrs. Smith. I am exactly who I am anytime you see me. <laughs> you got a nice quote. Yeah. I know I am impacting student lives. I get up every single morning and I come to school because I know that there are students that absolutely depend on me being here. They're looking for my smile. They're looking for my hugs, my fist pumps. They're looking to see me at their sporting events. And so I know that if I'm not here, 
you know, maybe I'm the person, you know, that they're looking for to get them through the day. And so I have to be here for these students. They're my babies. I am Yetta Smith, and I am thrilled to be a semifinalist for Henry County Teacher of the Year. Why is Yetta Smith so deserving for Teacher of the Year for Henry County Schools? Because she's like a good coach. And a good coach knows how to pull the best in those that she works with. And that's not just exclusionary to students. That goes for teachers that she works alongside and even administrators. Her number one focus when she comes in each and every day is to get the best out of everybody that she works with. And she does this in a humble and gracious manner that makes her the best that she can be. And everybody around her wants to step up and excel in everything they do. And that is why I feel like she would be the best candidate for Henry County Schools Teacher of the Year. All right, one more big round of applause for Ms. Yetta Smith. And next up, our other semifinalist from the high school level, from Luella High School, Mr. James Forsyth. As a teacher of exceptional students, James works hard in his classroom to create an atmosphere that encourages risk-taking, positive feedback, and real-world opportunities that impact his students' lives well beyond their high school experience. In addition to teaching his students how to become independent and contributing members of their community, he teaches them that they are smart, loved, and important. Let's hear more from James and his principal, Mr. Jerry Smith. Each one of my students, you know, each one of them, I know a characteristic about them that, that, you know, made them unique. And I just would like for them to remember that they have value and that they are important. And each of them have just had a, a large impact on my life throughout the years. My name is James Forsyth, and I am an exceptional student education teacher at Loella High School. Whoa. All right, let's take a look, Amy. I believe that every student re Regardless of their abilities um, or disabilities, I think that they all require an equal opportunity um, within the classroom and outside of the classroom as well. I think it's my job as my student's teacher and it's my job as a special education teacher in general to advocate for individuals living with exceptionalities. Whether that means, you know, equal opportunities within the school ground to go and experience events with their peers or opportunities uh, in the community. I just believe that is important because they are able to experience things in a way that brings them happiness and they just want to feel like they are a part of everyone else. Can you touch the line with me? Every day in the morning, uh, we, we go through those affirmations and my students, they learn to, um, they've learned to you know, point to their head and say that they're smart and, and make the sign for loved and, and also give a thumbs up that they're important because at the end of the day, you know, I, I think that those three things that, to remind them that they're smart and they're loved and that they're important, um, that, that those reminders are vital. Um, just to know that you know they have value. Of course, we hold our Special Olympics here, and I think last year we had something like over 500 students attend, and everybody comes together and just you know has fun. At the end, they get the ribbon. We have music being played. That's probably my one of my one of the things that I look forward to the most. You develop this close relationship with them, you know, over the four, the five, the six, you know, years, and. You know, it's just like it's just like if you were to have a, a, a child that would be leaving for college or, or, or graduating, you would have those same feelings of you're just so proud of them and you're just so happy for them and you just can't wait to see what their future brings. Yeah, good job. Whenever I lay on my head on my pillow each night, I ask myself, you know, did I do everything that I could today to ensure that my students know that they are important and that they have a lot of value. So I do everything to reinforce um, them risk taking and trying new things and stepping out of their comfort zone. And I think that at the end of my career, if I'm able to answer yes to those questions, then that'll be most important to me as their educator. It's, it's, it's a pleasure being able to do what I do each day. My name is James Forsyth, and I am absolutely honored to be a semifinalist for Henry County Schools Teacher of the Year.
welcome to Luella High School, the home of the Lions. And this is where one of the candidates for Henry County Teacher of the Year teaches, and that is Mr. James Forsyth. We call him James. And so when asked about why he is a Teacher of the Year, I have a very simple answer, and that is look at the expression on his students' faces every day. Any educator who can bring that type of joy, that type of commitment out of students is truly a teacher of the year. And that is what you see in James' class every day. That's what you see from his students when they're at lunch, when they're in the halls. That is an amazing statement to make about any educator. James Forsyth is a special educator in so many ways. He's a leader in our building. He's a team player in our building but mostly he's committed to kids, he loves kids, he works hard for kids, and he does what it takes to do that job for every child he teaches. And that's why James Forsyth should be Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, James. Now, if our two semifinalists for our high school could stand up, as you can see from both the elementary and middle school levels, very tough choices. Uh, there can only be one finalist, and the same thing exists for our high schools as well. But in this envelope, I have the name of our high school finalists. Moving on, one step closer. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys are fantastic. There you go. Exactly. All right. Without further ado, our high school teacher of the year finalist, James Forsyth from Luella High School. And as James stands here with his principal, Mr. Smith, and the superintendent, we'd also like to hear a word from uh, one of his students, uh, somebody uh, with a reflection on his impact. James Forsyth is the sum total of wisdom, experience, kindness, discipline, and compassion. He's impacted my daughter Katie in ways that have exceeded my expectations. His endless positivity makes it a joy for Katie to come to school every day. He makes learning engaging and stimulating and pushes her to work hard and do her best. He shares his patience and understanding to guide her in achieving a level of knowledge to last her a lifetime. His impact is far reaching and I am forever grateful. Congratulations, James. You can join our other two finalists there back on the front row. And you got some nice flowers to now share at home, all right? Good deal. Next up, we'd like to uh, welcome Ms. Calloway back to the stage so she can uh, give some more special recognition to many of our sponsors this evening. Hey again, how's everyone holding up? Okay, great. Congratulations. We are down to the final three. Dun, dun, dun. So it has been a pleasure knowing all six semifinalists to see the three finalists. I don't know how the judging committee could make a choice, but they did. And we are just excited to keep them the night moving along. So y'all good? All right, okay. We cannot do this for y'all to go home with checks, and prizes, the swag bags, gift cards, amazing things. We are a huge county, but we are a county with a heart. And what I have always been awestruck about is how people say, yes, I want to help. How can I do it? You say it's a teacher, yes, they're on board. So I'm going to go ahead and as you see the screen on here, let it be known, please, please shop and use local. That's what keeps our community great. And these are the people who pour into us. And I would love to go back out there and have you give your dollars to back to them as they are doing to us. I want to go ahead and say gift cards. Kroger tonight has provided gift cards valued at almost $2,000, which is, ooh, ah, yes, where's my, okay, we got it, oh, I like it, all right. Shane's Rib Shack, Great American Cookie Company, Chick-fil-A, Southern Farmhouse Home Collection, Scoops, Southern Roots, Georgian Gallery, Macon Street Tacos, Crust and Craft. They have given to tonight. They've also given to the overall district winner's gift basket. I want to also say monetary donations. Brian Brakefield of State Farm has given a $100 check to whoever the winner is out of these three this evening. Bellamy Strickland has given a check for $250 to whoever the winner is this evening. Ooh, 
Ah, all right, work with me here. We're socially distanced, but I know we still have the energy. So Holiday Inn Express, two night complimentary stay. All right, I like it. All right, that's my person over there. Thank you, Mom, for coming tonight. Okay, so uh, also in-kind donations and discounts, serendipities. The three finalists, all three of you, get a $50 gift card to go to serendipity and have it made about you being teacher of the year, whether you want a vest or a jacket or a TikTok ensemble, whatever, yes, whatever it is. We have that amazing teacher, Symbion. They did the masks tonight. Did every teacher of the year get your own personalized face mask? Who would have thought that that's a thing? Yes, so thank you to that, Andrea. We also have Sound Around. They are the ones who are live streaming right now on YouTube, and this will be recorded and live in infamy forever. Victory Trophies, the trophies that have gone on tonight, thank you so much for a discount. A T-shirt company with uh, Shane Preston. The pop-up banners in the lobby, did you all see those? Each of the six semifinalists would ask the principals to please take those back to the school. They are yours. And, um, and we thank them also for providing doing the banners out front. Southern Bell Farm, the Winter's Basket, and the Pumpkins. We can't, it's, it, is the, it is the holidays. Quick trip, uh, I'll go ahead and tease now. They have donated 250 donuts and pastries this evening as you leave. We're gonna give you a little um, a road trip suite. Go ahead and take that and, and head on your way out. There'll be people at the doors with baskets. We wanna thank Quick Trip. <laughs> sweets for our sweets. Uh, Martha Mays for the flowers. So that is it. We thank our sponsors. We cannot do it without you. There's no way to say that a million times over. We thank you. music. I love it. Thank you so very much. Uh, as, as we uh, move to the next portion of our program this evening, uh, it's been a very special year in a lot of ways. Uh, we'd like to not bring any more attention to, uh, you know, the, the, the year that was cut a little bit short by, of course, uh, a, a worldwide pandemic. But we had an outstanding Teacher of the Year to serve us during that time who was announced at this very time last year, a year ago, and has done amazing things uh, in her position as Teacher of the Year. She's had the opportunity to address other you know, first-year teachers and speak uh, to other colleagues about the things that she does in her classroom that really got her to the level of being Teacher of the Year for Henry County Schools. And so one last time, we'd like to bring her to the stage to share some parting words as her reign as the Henry County Schools Teacher of the Year ends this evening. So please help me welcome to the stage your 2019 Henry County Schools Teacher of the Year, Ms. Janae Cohen from Red Oak Elementary. Thank you, Mr. Hardin, for your kind words. To Superintendent Davis, the board members, the executive cabinet, fellow Henry County educators, family, and friends, it is my esteemed honor and pleasure to stand before you this evening as the 2019 Henry County Schools District Teacher of the Year and offer words for this mo momentous occasion. First and foremost, I want to extend a congratulations to the heartbeats of education, our honorees, each 2020 Teacher of the Year being honored this evening. Can we please give them another round of applause? It goes without saying that 2020 has been a challenging year, unconventional, beyond what we could have ever envisioned for our nation, world, individuals, and school system. However, despite many uncertainties in adjusting to a new normal, each teacher before us this evening has demonstrated relentless hard work and dedication to their students and respective schools. I think I speak on behalf of the colleagues at your respective schools, district representatives, personnel, and students when I say that we are all so proud of you and grateful to have you as a member of Henry County Schools. We know we'll make it through everything going on, 
and the world will be a better place because of transformative teachers and leaders like each and every one of you helping to guide the way. So tonight, I also say thank you. Tonight, we celebrate students' champions, you all, the teachers. In an ever-changing world, heavy is the head that wears the crown, and despite the load, each and every one of you carry it so well. In preparation for this evening, I thought to myself, how can I transcribe the words to celebrate the magnitude of this momentous occasion? So I thought to myself simply, what does it mean to be a teacher of the year? To be a teacher of the year is special, not because we as educators look for any recognition, because all teachers work hard, and one can go their entire educational trajectory without receiving recognition. But right now, I want you to take a moment and I want you to close your eyes and think about the teacher that had an impact on you. Go ahead, you can close them. Think about what they did. Think about what they said. Think about how they made you feel. Now open your eyes. Thinking back on how that teacher made you feel, I want you to know that when your students close your eyes, you are the ones that they are thinking about. And that's what it means to be a teacher of the year. To be a teacher of the year is not just remembering your why, but it is living it out each and every day. It's remembering why you became an educator, why you chose to stay in the field, and why out of anything you could have chosen to be in the world, you chose one of the most impactful professions, an educator. For some of you this evening, it's been a lifelong passion. For others, it may be a love for children. For some, it may be to have an impact or to give back what was given to you, among many other reasons. Regardless of your why, I want to encourage you after this evening to continue to go forth in your buildings, remembering why you even chose this work and continue to use it to fuel you on your best and even your most challenging days. To be a teacher of the year is to own your classrooms and never forgetting even on rough days that teachers matter. It's impacting fellow colleagues, teachers, and doing whatever it takes to ensure that your students have the absolute best. Although we may be undervalued, in recent months, our nation has seen that our worth, they have noticed our worth and known that we have the most important job on the planet, and that is to be the champions, educating, influencing, inspiring, and helping to provide the foundation for the future leaders of the world. To be a teacher of the year means to be a child's refuge, safe place, and even in a hybrid environment, we hold the responsibility to create classrooms where they are seen, where they are heard, valued, respected, and where there are endless opportunities for them to create, grow, explore, be authentic, and excel. It is vital that this space is created as we provide the foundation for what their 12 years of school will look like, whether it's knowing their worth or value, being able to express themselves, an impactful lesson, or being able to impact their school or community. We have the power and the responsibility to students that essentially impact their trajectories, and you all this evening have demonstrated that. Outside of their families, we are their next advocate to influence what impact they will have on the world. To be a teacher of the year means having the esteemed pleasure to have a front row seat at educating future presidents, doctors, lawyers, entrepreneurs, athletes, nurses, critical thinkers, and yes, even future champions of the world, teachers. We have the opportunity to educate people that are going to have jobs that we can't even think of yet because they don't exist. We have the opportunity to educate students that are going to be world changers, and because of that, our students matter. In this profession, we don't know what our students endure beyond our classroom walls, but we always remember that they matter, and at our core, they are our why. An encouraging word, 
inspiring lesson, or moral support can save a student, even in the virtual environment. Remember that. To be a teacher of the year means leading, possessing influence, and having an impact just not on the students, but on the faculty and staff at your respective schools. It holds responsibility, humility, and honor. It is esteemed, distinguished even, and contrary to popular belief, everyone cannot be a teacher. We hold the privilege of being responsible for the citizens, future leaders, and the future trajectory of the United States. In the words of poet, author, and teacher advocate, Taylor Malley, when asked, what do teachers make? He responded, we make a difference. Tonight, we honor you. We honor your sacrifice and the difference that you continue to make in the lives of many. Congratulations again to all of the teachers of the year across the district. Thank you for your relentless pursuit and dedication to ensuring success for all students of Henry County. Thank you. Another thank you to Janae. Thank you, I get to do the fun things. So at this point, someone wanted me to say, what do you have for them, Johnny? So are we happy backstage? I did it. OK. What do you have for them, Jareth? Ooh. Give it to me. We've been practicing all night. I got faith in you. Ah. Uh, right now, fabulous cooler, plus a check, gift cards, all kinds of other things, for the winner of the District Teacher of the Year this evening. We would like to thank Southern Grace Hospice for donating this Yeti cooler and uh, all the folks who helped us fill it. It's gonna be really fun to give this one away. And it was fun to make, but even more if it's better to give than receive, right? But for you, it's probably better to receive because it's pretty fantastic. But I want to thank, um, bring on Lacey Dean, Director of Education for Southern Grace Hospice and announce that Southern Grace will be our premier sponsor for our SV Awards, Education Personnel Support of the Year, which will be held on November 10th right here in this building. We look forward to going ahead and uh, keeping the celebration going for yet another month. So, Lacey, you have trouble? Thank you. Good evening. Hope you all are doing well. It is such an honor for me to be here tonight. Um, not only am I Director of Education for Southern Grace Hospice, but I am the daughter of an educator. Um, she went back to school when I was nine years old, um, obtained her teaching degree, and then her a master's and she was a math teacher and became a principal of a middle school in Thomaston, Georgia. I accompanied her many years ago to Washington. She was the first runner up for the National Principal of the Year. Uh, so that was quite impressive. Um, and I was speaking with her tonight while I was on the way here. And she was talking to me about how important it was for all of the workers and the people that are in a school system, she called it the school family, um, that makes a school run and that impacts a, a child's life so much. So in hospice, we have a team of people that help patients and families through their journey. And each one of those team members has their own special place with that family and patient in their journey. And the same thing is so in a school system whether it is the person that you see first when you walk in the door, or the person that greets you when you go to pick up your breakfast, or the person in environmental services or your teacher, all of you are important. And, and that's why we're so, in, so honored to uh, sponsor the SB Awards. And um, while our healthcare workers are on the front line fighting COVID and infectious disease, you really are the true heroes and the frontline workers who are really um, impacting our children's lives and making sure that they feel valued and important and loved and that they can be the future leaders for us tomorrow. So thank you for all you do. It's an honor uh, for Southern Grace to participate and to recognize all of you. Thank you. Good night.
we're getting so close. I know you guys are on the edge of your seats and you're just waiting for it, but we're, we got just a little bit more. We're going to take a quick break. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to keep going. All right. So uh, we know you guys want to get out of here, but we have some important announcements here in just one second. First off, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't also call out and I didn't do it earlier, um, but I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't because now you're able to see a lot of the, the fruits of their labor. I have an incredible team that I get to work with each and every day uh, within my respective department uh, for Henry County Schools, and that's the communications and public relations team. We do a, a, a tremendous amount of work to try to keep you all informed uh, and put uh, together great productions like you're seeing here tonight. And uh, a lot of the videos and the behind the scenes work is because of our team, the website, the photos that are being taken backstage. It all happens because of this wonderful team. And I want to recognize uh, Mr. David Birch, Rodney Christopher, Sybil Barkley, Kevin Ward, and Pam Cox for their work. Let's give them a big round of applause. The wonderful branding, the videos, the website, the pictures, all of that that you see is because of them. And I could not do it without them. And we have a wonderful school system because of their efforts. Now, it's time to recognize the three that remain here on stage. So as I call your name, if you will please stand up and remain standing, and then I'm going to invite someone out to announce the winner, all right? So first up, we're gonna start with elementary. Miss Tabitha Wesley from Timber Ridge Elementary. Let's give her a big round of applause. Next up, and we know we're gonna hear her cheering section out, out, outside, we've got Miss Melanie Kellum from McDonough Middle School. We hear you guys. And then last but not least, Mr. James Forsyth from Luella High School. Big round of applause for your three finalists. And now it's the moment you guys have all been waiting for. I'm gonna bring to the stage our superintendent, Mary Elizabeth Davis, to announce your 2020 Henry County Schools Teacher of the Year. Superintendent Davis. The nice thing about masks is we don't know if they're yawning or smiling, but I believe they're about to be smiling. So I've got the pleasure here of the envelope of the District Teacher of the Year. Oh my goodness, what if they gave me the wrong envelope? Here's what I have to say. Before I open this envelope, the pride I have in each of our professionals in the room could not be higher. I'm grateful for you, and this is going to be a spectacular year because you are making it so. I am proud to announce the District Teacher of the Year for Henry County Schools, James Forsyth. Congratulations. Thank you for this amazing recognition and for an incredible night together. In writing this speech, I thought about how grateful I would be and how may I may express it through my words. In working with exceptional education students, I have had the incredible opportunity to assist them in walking across the stage at graduation. The joy in their faces, as well as the mutual understanding and the appreciation of all their hard work and dedication culminating in a memorable night dedicated to them as a graduate are some of my most fondest memories as an educator. This night is similar in so many ways. As I think about the school days within the classroom, working with them, leading up to the graduation, I remember multiple times when skills were built and barriers were overcome. I encouraged them to take risk and try new things, which resulted in higher levels of self-confidence and pride in themselves. Much like my students, over the years, I relied upon the guidance of great, great teachers. And these teachers in education, they supported me 
and they helped me develop the skills necessary to be successful. Each day within the classroom provides a sense of gratefulness, and although I'd rather celebrate the accomplishments of my students, it's nice to have an evening for yourself. This award tonight is shared by my students that I've had the opportunity to serve over my 12-year career. My students have reinforced so many valuable characteristics, such as remaining happy despite your circumstances, trying hard even when the odds seem stacked against you, and also being kind to others while expecting nothing in return. Together, our lessons within the classroom have molded us to, be, to equip our lives to be better prepared for the days ahead of us. Being named Teacher of the Year is a great title, but my most favorite titles are husband and most recently father. <laughs> Jess, I love you so much. Oakland and I are so lucky to have you as her mother. Although you're yourself a dedicated educator, I could never have imagined how selfless she would be for our baby girl. She's so lucky and we are all so lucky to have you. I also want to thank my principal, Mr. Jerry Smith. I want to thank the assistant principal, Dr. Tammy Daniels, my student support facilitator, Carrie Jarrett Roberts, and also my paraeducator, Kelly Orocho. Together, you guys have provided the consistent support and dedication toward equipping our students to be successful both inside the classroom and outside. Finally, I want to give praise to God for his ability to take a guy from the hills of West Virginia and give him the opportunity to positively impact the lives of our exceptional students. This award provides me with more reassurance that I am carrying out his will and that my life has purpose in this life and the one to come. I would like to leave you. I would like to leave you with a quote from an amazing woman. This woman, she's a very strong advocate for the autism community. She's a professor of animal science and author on autism and animal behavior, Temple Grandin, whom said this, there needs to be a lot more emphasis on what a child can do instead of what he cannot do. I challenge each and every one of you not to look at the disability, but look at the ability of the individual and to always advocate for those who may find it difficult to advocate for themselves. Thank you for this award, and as always, go Lions. And that concludes our evening. James, we have another bouquet for you to give your wife Forsyth because we know it's a partnership in these pieces. I will leave this here for you. And um, we just want to say thank you for being here. This evening, please drive safe. Make sure you check out the Henry County School Board of Education Utah YouTube channel where this will be. We would like the semifinalists and finalists to come back up to have pictures made with the Board of Education. Please grab your sweets on the way out. Have a great night, and we'll see you next year, 2021 Teacher of the Year.